Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. I love horror. Any type of horror film, I'm there and I'll watch it. It doesn't even matter if it's, you know, if it's a bloody or a violent one, or even if it's a straight-up psychological one. I just love horror films and horror books in general. So, going through the internet, this uh, piqued my interest is probably the best way to describe it. The Dark Knight writer David S. Goya is penning an evolved reimagining of Hellraiser. You heard that correctly. He is doing a brand new Hellraiser movie. I'm a little bit overjoyed that he's doing it, but I'm also a bit sceptic because he, even though he's had some right corkers of action films and, well, just films in general, some of his films as well, though, have been a bit like, ah, right, do you really want to watch that? Because that is absolute pile of poop. His first film he started with was Death Warrant, the Van Damme movie, where he goes to prison, which, again, I thought that was kind of cool. But then he did a couple of films, again, like The Crow City of Angels, which, to me, is not a patch on the original. It's a huge cult film. Same as Dark City. I love Dark City. And then I loved Blade. Which is probably one of the films he's most famous for. Obviously, he done Blade. Then he did. Then he wrote Blade Two, which, even though it's it's one of the best superhero sequels, excuse me, it's one of the best sequels ever. It just goes one and above the uh, original, and it just goes and just never stops, and never slows down. And obviously, it's directed by the fantastic Guillermo del Toro, but. He then he done Blade Trinity, where he wrote and directed it, which, in my eyes, it does seem to be a bit rubbish. And they didn't really focus on Blade that much. It was almost just focus on Ryan Reynolds, and it just seemed to be an audition tape for his uh, Deadpool. But a year later, he came out with the smash hit, the which he wrote the screenplay for, and that is Batman Begins. So. Even though Christopher Nolan and his brother, they're the ones who get the, all the respect and all the accolades for the Dark Knight trilogy. If it weren't for David Goya, they would have had that fantastic screenplay to start the first film off. You know, then obviously he wrote the story then for the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. Because he was too busy doing other things. So, the Dark Knight Rises, in my eyes, it mostly is... David Goya and also Christopher Nolan's uh, love child, so to speak. But, you know, he then he done The Man of Steel, which I love. But then he's also got a few... How can I say it? Not bombs, but a few... You look at them and think, is that really a good thing to watch? You know, or Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. One of the worst superhero films ever. Even though I thought it was going to be fantastic. Mostly because it was a couple of years after... Batman Begins in the Dark Knight, and you had David Goya writing it, but then you also had Brian Taylor and um, Neville Dean directing it, the guys who were responsible for the Crank films. So you thought those two combining together with David S. Goya, it was going to be incredible. Sadly, it turned out wrong. But yeah, I was actually quite surprised to see that Hellraiser is being remade again, basically. You know, we've had nine sequels in the last uh, 20 years. Fair enough, the last one we had was supposedly going to be a great uh, movie, but it actually turned out to be a really, really bad one. And they tried recasting Dud Bradley, and it didn't really work. And I just saw that, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? They just didn't, it just didn't fit, you know? Well, the, it was directed by a guy called Gary Tunnicliffe, which, you know, He's a, he's a great guy as well. Well, he's uh, British as well. So, and, you know, he first done the first Hellraiser film, you know? He, well, sorry, not the first one. He, I think he done it from the third one onwards or fourth one onwards. So he's been in the Hellraiser realm for a long, long time. But they kind of messed his film up for judgment because it was meant to be something else. But then it kind of went skew if and it just kind of died. But... Fingers crossed, this new Hellraiser film, it can be good. Uh, as only if I think they stick with the hardcore violence and make it like the original, which is unforgiving. 
and obviously in the original when you had <laughs> the body come through the floorboards after a drop of blood dropped oh I saw that film when I think I was like seven or eight the first time I ever saw it and it was only by accident I, it was on channel four one night in the summer I'll always remember it I was I was up late I was downstairs uh, not much to the dismay of my parents and I was just flicking through TV my dad was there, he was just reading a magazine or whatever, my mum was somewhere else, and I turned over and that was on, I saw it, my dad saw it, he was like, turn over quick, now, you're not going to like this movie, I'll scare you, and I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. I want to watch it, saw it, and I literally threw the remote at the TV, and it scared the living shit out of me, but now, it's one of my favourite horror films, definitely top 5, 100% top 5. So it'll be interesting to see how this new one goes. So moving on, we actually have a third sequel coming out now to The Collector. If no one knows what The Collector is or The Collection, which is a pair of films, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to watch them. They are so good. It's written by the guys who wrote the Sir, uh, Sir Saw 4-7 to seven films. And... I'll just give you a little bit of a rundown of it. What it is. <laughs> it was originally called The Midnight Man. Because it was written by the guys who done the Saw films. Like I just said. But what it is. A man breaks into a house. Because it's, uh, it's meant to have a couple of jewels. And all this kind of stuff. But he actually finally. He realises. That someone else has broken in before him. And this guy who's broken in before him. Is called The Collector. He's rigged the house with booby traps to collect people. And I'll just leave that from there. Uh, the second film, it does not it does have a bit of horror element to it. But it goes full-blown aliens. And in my eyes, James Cameron's sequel is the far superior film in the entire Alien trilogy. Well, I say Alien trilogy, I don't really count Resurrection as one because in my eyes... That was a bit of a cop-out. They were just like, oh, we need, need to bring Scorny with a back. Let's make her a clone. And I'd just rather think that's more like a off-distance cousin. A bit like how you got Alien vs. Predator, those type of films. So, it goes from straight horror in the first one into an all-out horror war in the second one. And you need to go and watch them. They're fantastic. And I'm just really happy that the third one is going to be coming out soon. Mostly because... You know, Josh Stewart, the guy who actually plays the main character in both films, he's the one who actually posted the tweet. And he actually had a photo on there and everything else for the poster, so I'm really looking forward to it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you soon.